Hi, in this video, we will talk about how to get Splunk developer license, which is basically valid for six months and it is renewable as well. And, and compared to Splunk enterprise free license, so you can use it for like, I think uh, per day 10 GB of data, you can ingest it using that particular license. So it is very helpful for developers and as well as for the learners who want to learn splunk and then probably apply it in their in their day-to-day -day job right so to to get splunk developer license if you just search in google splunk dev license so it will give you this this particular links over here and if you just click on here in the splunk developer program so it will basically take you to this dev.splunk.com website so here you can basically apply for a free developer license if you see it like for you can use for six months and it is renewable as well every six months you can you can renew it so if i just click on over here get your developer license it will take you this particular page so if you just follow the point number two request a developer license so if you just click on over here so the first thing you need to do is you need to sign in with your splunk.com account and I already signed it over here that's why it is taking me to this developer agreement page so once you click on this one and submit okay so basically it will go to the review page and then you will basically get your developer license uh, i think within one to three businesses over here so if, if i just show you the previous developer license i got so if i just go to settings and licensing page so if you see it like it is 10 GB license over here and there will be expiration date over here as well. And I think with that you will get another another copy of this ETC license as well. Like ETC by default provides a internal license to not copy version so that that ETC event analytics, whatever notable event it's generates, you do not pay for those those events over here. That's why it's with ETC by default, it comes a license over here as well, internal license, which basically do not copy. So this one also comes up with your free license over here as well. Okay, so, so this is a very good one and which is basically available freely for the developers. I think you should be using this one as well for your own dev purpose and or learning purpose over here okay so just wanted to share this one with you guys so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video